What's up guys? Steph here and welcome to week two of my 2020 vlog series. Hello, how's it going? Uh, today is Sunday. I don't know what the day is. What day is it today? The 5th. Oh, whoa, oh, the sun, the sun. Sunday the 5th. Um, I've been watching football all morning. It's the Saints versus the Vikings. I don't really care who wins. I'd rather... Sorry, Saints fans. I'd rather have the Vikings win just because I feel like the Saints are kind of a powerhouse. Um, but can we talk about last night? Because that Titans, both games, the Bills and the Texans, that was a really good game that went to overtime. But then the Titans versus the Patriots, oh my god, that game was so crazy like so good yesterday was such a good football day especially when your team's not playing and you you kind of don't really care i'll be honest i was i always root for the underdogs that's just technically like i just always do that um unless it's the niners of course but i like watching and seeing underdogs win so uh yeah to watch the titans beat the patriots oh and good old Ryan Tannehill, like, I'm so happy for him. I'm happy that things are, like, working out for him, because he's had a, he's had a go at it. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys, because I completed my habits calendar a few days ago, and I wanted to show you guys, since I only showed it to you when I was empty. So this is just for the month of January, so these potentially will change each, like, month to month, just depending on what I'm focusing on. Um, what I did is I broke these weeks up. I did Sunday through Saturday, which I kind of... Uh, regretted afterwards because I tend to like when my my week is like a, a Monday through a Sunday but that's okay we're just gonna go we'll try it out for January and see I might switch it up for February but I basically made my daily goals my weekly goals and my monthly goals so my daily goals right now are to brush my teeth two minutes twice a day so it's the two minute thing I never brush my teeth for two minutes I don't think um, and so I got this my that sonic toothbrush that tracks the amount of time that I brush and so every time I brush my teeth now I know that I have to brush for two minutes and I have to wait till it goes off so that's really nice and that's been working out great um, I'm trying to floss every day or at least go for five days a week um, I did forget to do it this day I went to bed after I brush my teeth, I just went to bed. Work out seven minutes at least six days a week. So obviously I give myself outs here because um, I, I should be, I'm trying to work out every day for seven minutes, but obviously that's kind of a lot. So I want to make something realistic. Walk Lilo five days a week. So since this was only half a week, I only did it twice, but I had, like last night, I took him for walks. I was like, oh, I need to take Lilo for a walk, so that's good for him. Um, film, edit, and post five videos a week. Now, this is technically for my main channel, but I did post one video yesterday for my main channel, so I'm counting that and, uh, and my vlogs, even though that doesn't really count, but right now it's going to count. Eat some vegetables. I've been doing good at that, just making sure that I'm eating at least some kind of vegetable each day. I'm trying to eat a vegetable. Hopefully later on in the year it'll be like eat vegetables every meal. But right now, just trying to focus on making sure I eat vegetables every day. Cook two meals a week. I'm not doing so hot at that one. Today I'm going to cook meals because I have a couple of HelloFresh meals from last week that I need to cook because I'm getting my next package in today. So I, I'm going to have to cook meals. I did um, eat... Oh, oh, you know what I did today? Wait, I haven't gone yet. Wait, I won't. I won't skip. I won't skip. Sorry. I got excited because I can cross something off. Eat breakfast every day. I ate breakfast today. I don't usually eat breakfast. I don't really like eating breakfast, but I have noticed that when I, oops, I smeared it. When I do eat breakfast or eat something in the morning, it just helps me well, with my energy. It helps me just, I don't know. It, I, th I feel like it, it is good for me. So don't eat after 10 p.m. I've been doing really good at that that's night I wanted to eat something so bad and I didn't. I didn't. I said no. Um, drink homemade tea four times a week. I am drinking my tea right now. So instead of going to Starbucks, I probably shouldn't cross it off yet because I could technically still go to Starbucks, but I'm trying to do better at drinking my own tea. Um, drink eight cups of water. That's been going really well actually and what happened was is when, when Dana and I went to Super Duper Burger, I got this cup, which I probably shouldn't reuse this too long. I'll have to get a new cup soon. But this is 16 ounces, and so, like, today, once I drink this, that'll be three cups of water. Three eight ounces of water. And so I need to do eight, eight, eight ounces of water. But that's been going well. I've been really trying to focus on drinking enough water. Show appreciation to someone verbally. Um... This day I showed appreciation to Soren because he cooked us breakfast and it was really, really good and delicious. And then this day, 
Um, I should appreciate it to Amy because she's a good friend. And I'm trying to get a hold of my mom because I finally ate the juk juk that she made me last week. And it was so good. And I wanted to tell her how good it was because um, it was really good. And then we have weekly goals. These ones, questionable. But break down boxes and take out garbage. Since I cleaned my room, um, I was able to cross that off. I took a bunch of garbage out. I still have to bring a lot more garbage down, but I think our garbage can's full, so I have to see how that goes. Uh, go running for 10 minutes. I did not do that this week, technically, since the week was over yesterday. So I'm really gonna try to focus on this the rest of the weeks. Film, edit, post, weekly vlog. So that's, um, I just ended my last week's vlog, so I'm gonna post that, and then I'll technically, I guess that counts as this week. I don't really know. Um, appreciate one person a week with a card. So I didn't do it this week, but I'm going to start next week when I go back to work. And my goal is, this is mainly a work goal, is I used to be really good about saying thank you to people and, you know, just like having tokens of appreciation. I haven't been doing as well with that. And so I really want to make that a goal is that every week I find somebody that, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but just to write a thank you card to them, maybe get like a Snickers bar or something and give it to them. So I will start that this week now that um, I'm going back to work. And then I added do laundry because I thought I had it on there, but um, I didn't. Now I have so much laundry. That's a whole pile of clothes over there. That's a pile of jackets. I have a big thing of clothes there. I tend to only do laundry like once every few weeks when I really run out of clothes, but I'm gonna try to be better about keeping that up And then my monthly goals are clean room which technically I can clean I can check off now But what I'm gonna do is wait because I want to uh, finish cleaning my bathroom and organizing my closet And then even organizing like this area too um, And once I finish that then I'll check this off God kid date I'm gonna make that uh, a yearly goal is to every month take one of my god kids out on a date um, So, you know, I'm sure like between Jackson, Tyler, Audrey, Maddie, and then even Emma, which you've never met Emma, I don't think. Um, Emma and Luke, potentially. I'll talk to, to their mom and see. And then live stream. I want to, I really do want to live stream each week. I really like, am excited to do that. So this is my January calendar. Even though the theme is movement, I, I know that my, um, I mean, there's a few things like the workout, walking Lilo, and then going for a run. And then the re rest of the stuff is kind of different stuff. But there is a lot of things about eating and whatnot because I know that I've been very unhealthy in my eating habits and I want to um, keep track of that a little bit better. Better. So moving and eating better. It's my goal this month. Yes. You guys, this football game is so crazy. It's in overtime. It's the Vikings versus the Saints. And they just got a huge play to uh, Thielen. Oh my gosh. It's, oh, I can't. I can't. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. Okay, first and goal from the two-yard line. Can they win it right here? Can they win it? Oh, they gotta stop, they gotta stop. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm so glad I'm not a fan of either of these teams because I think I'd be going nutso. But like I said, I do want the Vikings to win because they're the underdog and I don't think anyone thought they were gonna win. I really do, like, Hale though is one of my favorite players on the Saints. I love how, like, just universally is. It's so cool, like, I wish I could do that. Okay, let's see, let's see what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? Ooh. Oh my gosh, oh gosh. If the Saints get a stop here, that's gonna be so legit. Third and goal, if if the Saints can get a stop here, that's legit because they haven't been able to stop them at all. I don't know what the Vikings are doing. The Vikings need to get a touchdown here. They don't need to let the ball go back into Drew Brees' hand. That's like one of those things where it's like you don't want the ball to go into like Tom Brady's hands. Unless he's gonna throw a pick six, then I guess maybe you do. I don't know. Okay, here we go. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh, the snap was bad. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Oh my gosh, corner throw to Rudolph, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What are they doing? Oh, they, they wanna try to throw a flag. They're gonna say offensive pass interference. They're trying to see if they can. Oh yeah, uh-oh. Oh my gosh, if they overturn this, that's gonna be so crazy. 
I mean, you might as well go for it, right? You might as well go for the review because why not? But still, he extends his arm. That is technically sure, but I, the reviews this year, I don't know. I think that's going to be a hard one to, to overturn. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. No review, game's over. OT Vikings just beat the Saints. I can't, this is, this weekend, uh, I can't wait for this next game too. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, with that win, we are officially playing the Vikings next week. So that is pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Okay, so the Seahawks game was stupid. They won. It's whatever. Um, I went to go to Home Depot to get a new light switch because our light switch stopped working in the hallway. Sorry, there's music, hold on. So I, on my way to Home Depot, I actually went and got a haircut. Can you tell? I just got a trim. They cut like, I think it's like four to five inches off. It's not that much, but it feels nice. And uh, I think I have all the light switches I want to get. There's so many different types. Like had no idea that there was just so many different types of light switches but I'm just gonna keep it simple for right now at some point I think I want to get like switches that are smart switches but I don't need that right now don't need it right now oh, guys it's Sunday night I'm getting ready for bed because I have work tomorrow I haven't worked in like two weeks so it's gonna be crazy but I'm kind of sad because Earlier today at like 7, Mac went outside and he never came back. And it's like 10 o'clock now. So this is definitely the longest he's been gone since I've been in this new house. I'm slightly worried just because, you know, there's cars and things. But I'm hoping he's just hiding in a bush somewhere. Chris and I walked around for a while earlier and like called out his name, but he's kind of stubborn. I feel like if he was hiding, he wouldn't actually come out. So hopefully he's just having a fun time being adventurous and he'll come home later today. I put my phone on loud so that if there's any motion with the ring doorbell, it'll, it'll tell me just so that I know. But yeah, I'm like, he's been gone much longer than this before, but it's just like, you know, it's just one of those things. We'll see. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it now. Hopefully he's having a good time. I think he knows that there's a lot of other cats in the complex. So I'm hoping that he's like hanging out with them and not getting into cat fights with them because that would be awful. Ugh. I don't know. All right, well I'm gonna get ready for bed and uh, yeah. I guess, I think I filmed a lot for this just being one day. I'm gonna have to, I'm, or for the week, like I'm gonna have to figure that out too, the timing of it, but. Anyways, oh, bad news. I tried to install the um, light switches that I got from Home Depot. I'm not an electrician, guys. I actually hate electricity things because it scares me, but I had the little like electricity detectors to make sure, you know, after I turned off the circuit breakers, but when I pulled the switch out of the wall, um, the one that I have now has five wires. And the one that I got only has four. So I'm not really quite sure like where all the wire, like why there's so many wires. Cause I thought there was only gonna be four. It has a, it's a, a three-way switch, but yeah. So I don't know. So I just paused that. I was like, I don't know. And I made dinner. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I made a hella fresh meal for me, Jackson and Chris. We did the tacos. Those were okay. Like not my favorite out of all the meals, but I did make some of the zucchini salad with the ribbons, the zucchini ribbons. I don't know if I showed you guys that. Yeah, I did with the lemon juice, tomato, and green onions. So that was good. Um, but yeah. All right. I'm going to go to bed now, but I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey guys. Oh, man. It's uh it's Monday night, it's like 9.40. And today was really hard. Um and tonight's really hard. It sucks being here and just knowing that Mac's not here and that I don't know where he is, that just sucks. And I'm hoping, I'm still trying to stay positive. Like, I hope that he, he legitimately went on some kind of cool adventure. 
that he'll be back soon but obviously like all the things are going through my mind of what potentially could have happened with him with cars and streets and animals and just the cold and um I got home and I tried to walk and find him and I know that I know that Chris has been looking too which is really nice and um and I check like my doorbell every two seconds because I just hope to see him. I put a lot of you guys said that I should um, on Instagram. You guys said I should put his litter box outside, so I did that. And I put some cat food, although I think a different cat ate some of the cat food, so that wasn't very helpful. But um, yeah. It's one of those things where, I mean, it's only been 24, it's been like a little bit over 24 hours, but just knowing that he hasn't been gone this long, you know, it's just one of those things where you're like, well, I don't know. So, I hope he comes back still, of course, and I'll keep looking for him, at least this week, um, because I, I feel like when cats go away maybe they go away for because I've heard cats can travel like like three miles I don't know if he went that far that seems really far but I'm just worried that he's not going to know his way back just because he doesn't go outside like he just started going outside like this past month and so I just worry that he's not going to be able to find his way back but I don't know it seems like cats can really track their scent. It just, you know, I worry about him. So, hopefully he's having fun. I really do hope he's having a good time and that he comes back, but it's like hard. It's hard because I just start to like think about just even like, like just laying in bed. Like he was, he's always been here and I've had Max since he was a baby. So he's grown up with me and, um, he's just always been there you know and this is sucks because he's my first like legitimate pet like I had a turtle but obviously I wasn't very connected with my turtle like he was cool and I was sad when he passed away but you know I raised Mac from a baby and he's just been with me he's just he's just been with me and I've always taken care of him and so it's um I don't know and he's older he was he's turning 14 this year March 21st he was he's turning 14 and so that's so old and obviously because of that I've been kind of like preparing but um yeah I don't know and like Amy was saying that maybe he um maybe he like knew that something was gonna happen or something and so he left but I hope that's not the case because even if something were to happen, I would have wanted him to be with me, you know? Or maybe he was mad. He could have been mad at me. I don't know. There's so many things that run through my mind. But I hope he's okay. I just worry because it's so cold outside. It's so cold outside. And like, God, even if he's with another family, I don't even care. I just want him to be safe, you know? I just hope that he's safe. But, yeah, it's been hard. And it's probably going to get harder, I can imagine. <sighs> so, um, I try not to think about it too much. Although, like, at work, I was, like, on my phone. Anytime I got an alert, I was like, is it back? <laughs> so, obviously, I hope he comes back. But, yeah, I don't know. I even po I posted, like, everything on Ring and Nextdoor. So, just in case anyone else sees him, but I think that's going to be a long shot. Cats are so tricky and so sneaky. Alright, well, even though it's it's early, I should be, there's so many other things I could be doing, but I think I'm going to go to bed because I just, I'm just so, like, drained. I'm, <sighs> sorry, my, see, my ring went off, so now I'm, I'm checking because I just want to see. It's just a lady and her dog. Oh, there's another cat. That's not Mac, though. Is that cat out there right now? Hold on a second. 
darn it, false alarm. There was another cat that started eating the food. So, let's say I chased him away because I think he was already done eating by the time I got down there. But I saw him run away. Honestly, if bringing more cats to my house will bring Mac back if he's like with them, I'm totally down for that. Because I haven't seen any cats like around. Chris saw a bunch today, but I haven't seen any around. So I'm like, maybe he's hanging out with the cats. I don't know. I'm hoping he found like a girl cat or a boy cat, whatever. And they're just hanging out. Like they're just chilling. I hope that's the case. And then when they're done chilling, he'll come. He'll come back. Like in that episode of Full House. I don't, maybe not like the episode of Full House. Because that was, Comet like went really far away. Like I don't want it to, I don't want Mac to go that far. That was a, I, that's not realistic. <laughs> but if he is hanging out with some other cat, I hope it's somewhere in this complex. And they're just hiding from bush to bush or something. Anyways, um. Gosh, see, and then I start thinking about it, and then I'm like, I can't even remember the last time that I got to, like, well, that's not true, because it was in the morning, but that I got to cuddle with him, and that I got to kiss him on, on his head, and, like, I said, I was looking at my ring doorbell, too, today, and I have the video of, like, him walking away from the house, and it's like, that's, you know, the last video I have of him, it's so sad, well, Hopefully it's not the last video that I have of him. Hopefully he shows up on my ring soon. So, anyways. <sighs> this was really intense. I'm sorry. Um, I just... This is... Not many real things have happened where... I don't know. But I know that you guys have... I mean, you guys have been with me for like... Almost five years now. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's been almost five years and Mac has been there all along, you know, from the very beginning. So, luckily I have a lot of video footage of him and stuff, but, um, that's cool, actually. I can go back and look at that. That's nice, but, you know, it's not the real thing, so. <sighs> Alright, well, hopefully he comes back and then I look back on this and I go, oh, you're being ridiculous. Hopefully that's the case, fingers crossed. You guys, I'm trying not to get too excited, but it's Tuesday, and I was doing crap at home because I'm trying to keep myself busy, and my sister and, and Rob, they came over to help look for Mac, and I just got a phone call, and she just FaceTimed me, and we found a cat. I think it might be him. I don't want to get too excited because I can't tell for certain because she FaceTimed me, but he's under a car, so I'm going to go look right now and see if that's him i'm like shaking i'm shaking so hard right now oh my god i just ran over here okay i think this might be him mac mac i don't know i can't tell mac come here buddy jennifer can you guys see the light Mac, come here, buddy. Mac, come here. Come here, bud. Mac, come here, bud. Mac, come here. You look so cold, your nose is all red. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Mac, come here, bud. Buddy. Mac, come here. Come here, buddy. Mac. Mac, come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here, buddy. Mac, come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Oh, don't. Careful. Come on the other side. Run the car. Mac. Mac. Mac, hold on, hold on. Mac. Buddy, come here. Come here, bud. Come here, buddy. Mac, come here. That's him? It's okay. It's okay. Hey, hey. Hey, you're okay, bud. I love you. Guys, we found him. Aww. We love him. We love you, Mac. That's oh. fine. Just go in. Just go in. No, just go in. Just go in. I don't have the keys. I think they're in my phone. I'm not going to doubt that door's closed. You're okay. Yeah. yeah. You're okay. 
blocks. Oh my gosh, you're so dirty. Hi, buddy. Make sure you get water. Do water. Thanks, Rob. Hi, Mike. Hi, buddy. You're okay. Oh, you're gonna be so skittish for a little bit, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I want a picture of you, dude. I get a hug now. But I know you so much. And I know you don't know me, but okay. Oh, oh my god. I'm so glad we found you. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Okay, don't try. Oh, careful. You know careful. what? It's worth it. Ah. Uh, okay. Hi, bud. Sorry. I'm going to have to brush you yeah. out. Welcome home, buddy. Welcome home. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi, bud. Mac has officially been home for probably like an hour. He's gotten love from everybody. I woke up Chris and Swan. I'm like, you guys have to wake up. I was like, wake up. And I was holding him. And so they were showing him some love. And him and Lila were like kind of sniffing each other and not getting mad. So that was nice. Um, I wasn't able to fix the, the switch. Um, the light switch so I just put everything back for right now because I don't want to deal with it and now I have to go online and post updates about everything Mac is super his nose I don't know if you can see it his nose is a much darker shade of pink because he's very cold actually and he's got a lot of eye crusties that we'll have to clean he's got some pricklies underneath his belly his tail looks a little bit raggedy so I'm wondering if it's just from being outside or um you know, he was underneath a car, so I'm going to have to brush him, brush him out, because he's got mats underneath him already, and some pricklies. Oh, oh, okay, yep, that's Mac, that's Mac. Huge shout out to Jennifer and Rob, you guys are so awesome, like, the whole sequence of events was, my sister texted me, it was like 6.30, I was leaving work, and she was like, I'm leaving work, um, we're going to drive out there, and I was telling her, like, no, don't drive all the way, because she works in the city, I was like, don't drive all the way out here, like, it's fine. And she was like, no, I have to um, go to a different city, like, on the way. So then I wrote a text that said, okay, well, you can, you know, if you want, you can come. Um, but you don't have to. But thank you so much because she posted on Facebook. And so I was like, thank you for that post. But I thought I sent it, but I didn't. So then what ended up happening was she thought I didn't want her to come because that was my last text. Like, no, don't come. And when I was on my way to Walmart to go get, I, there's a thing I did with the wire. So I needed to go get a real, um stripper for the wire wire to strip the insulation off so i'm like i was walking out of my house and there's i just see two people walking and there's like cat noises and a flashlight and i'm like jennifer and she's like oh hey and i was like what I was like how long have you been she's like ah you know that long i think they'd been there for a little bit and um i was like why didn't you come to the house she's like because well, you said you didn't want us to come and i'm like oh and i found out that they had driven all the way home and then come all the way out to look for him and um, we so we walked around together for a little bit and obviously I was just because I've already walked around like five times today and I had gotten to the point because everyone kept saying well cats do that when they're getting ready they they want to leave the house and you know find a place and then and so I was like preparing myself to be looking tomorrow in bushes for Mac but him not being responsive so after a while, I was like, you know, it's okay, because it was really, it was ten, like 10 o'clock. I was like, it's okay, like, thank you guys for coming out, you know, um, I don't, you don't want to wake the neighbors, because we were like, you know, yelling back. So they kept looking after I went to Walmart, and I literally had just gotten to Walmart, and they were like, we found a cat under a car, but we, I don't know if it's Mac. And then my sister FaceTimed me, and I was like, that's, I, that's Mac, I think. I was trying not to get excited. You guys saw me. I was trying not to get excited. I was like, don't let that cat out. And then... When we got there, like, Mac was under the car. It was him, but he wouldn't come out. And when he finally came out because he got scared, he ran away. And then we had to chase him. And then even then, and then finally I got to the point where I was like, Mac, it's me. Like, come over here. And so I was kneeling down, and he finally walked up to me. And then I grabbed him and held him, and I squeezed him, and he didn't like that. And he tried to get away, and I said, no, you're not getting away. And now he's definitely not going outside, at least not until I put a tile or something GPS on him. He can go in the garage. He's allowed in the garage and maybe the side yard. But his adventures are on pause right now because I emotionally cannot handle it. I have had breakdowns like eight different times in the past two days. It's been bad and I haven't been sleeping. So 
you're not allowed to do that anymore. I'll probably need to take him to the vet just to make sure that everything's good. Last time he went outside, when he was younger, he went outside and then a few days later, like anytime you touched his back, he like freaked out and it's because he got into a cat fight, then had an abscess that opened and it was terrible. So, Mac, everybody loves you. I need to go on all the sites that I posted on to let them know that I found him. I posted on a lot of sites. So we're gonna have to change all of those things and make a post on Instagram for you guys to see real time. So when you're watching this, you're gonna see it. I'm pretty sure in the same vlog, I was literally in tears and now I'm so happy. He loves when I do this. He hates it. But I'm gonna do it. You smell interesting. He smells, a little, he smells a little bit interesting. I might I might give him some of those green tea wipes. He smells a little bit interesting, but that's okay. I still like you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so many people. Oh, his ears are so dirty. So many people are going to be so happy that he's okay. Oh, look how dirty his ears are. Ooh, we going to have to clean out his ears. His paws are really dirty too. So I'm going to give him a whole wipe down with some wipes. He doesn't like baths. I think he would, he'd probably run away if I tried to give him a bath. And he'd be like, oh, I'm leaving again because no. Absolutely not, but he is home. He is home, and he's got so many pricklies in his fur. Oh, Mac, we're going to have to try to pull all these out. I'll brush these out of you. There we go. There's one. I've been pulling all the pricklies and then putting them right here. Right there. Mac, we have missed you so much you don't even know. Oh my god, I love you so much, buddy. I love you so much. I'm excited that the last thing, I don't know if I said this already on video, but the last thing that I said to him was, do you want to go inside? Do you want to do you want to go outside or do you want to stay inside? Figure it out. You have 10 seconds. I did a countdown. And that was the last thing that I had said to him before he went outside. And I would have been really upset. I was really upset because I thought that was the last thing that I was ever going to say to him and that's not the last thing I want to say to him. So now every day I'm going to say I love you so that he knows. I'm so happy. Ah. Okay now I get to post all the updates for everybody so that you guys all know and you guys I'm not going to hold you in suspense for the week. You guys are going to find out right now. Okay, I want a good chin scratch. He wants a chin scratch. I'll, chat. I'll scratch your chin. I'll scratch your chin for you, buddy. I'll do it. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're so dirty. You're a dirty boy. You're a dirty boy. <sighs> yes. I woke him up. Sorry, hold on. I'm doing a slow... Oh my god, he's so cute. He's handsome. He's a, he's a, a man. Oh, my camera's broken and we won't stop recording. So now you're being recorded. Oh. Wait, zoom out. I feel like such a nerd. Mac is eating his second bowl of food, so he was hungry. And I have all of his grooming supplies ready to go. And his wipes and I'm gonna brush him down and then I'm gonna wipe him down with these I got these from Amazon they had really good reviews they smell like green tea leaf so just to get him smell a little bit but his paws are really dirty so and his belly's really dirty so I'm gonna try as much as I can he doesn't he hates these wipes so um, I'll just do the best that I can I might have to do like a few rounds like some tonight maybe some tomorrow but he will like all the different brushes because he loves these so I'm excited and he's still eating. Oh, gosh, I missed him. I'm so relieved, you guys. I can't even tell you. Like, uh, this vlog is going to be so up and down, up and down, but it's going to end on a high note, hopefully. Um, technically, the weekly vlog ends on Saturday, which is when the Niners play, so hopefully it ends on a high note. We'll see.
Okay, we got all the pricklies out. I had to cut one of them because it was under his leg and I couldn't get it and he wasn't happy. His belly's super dirty, you can see that, and his legs are dirty too. But we got a decent brushing in. He wouldn't flip around though, so we only got one side. But hey, something's better than nothing, right? Huh? Right? So now I'm going to see if I can um, wipe him down with some of these. I don't, I don't know if he's going to let me, but... See if I can make him smell good. Hi, bud. Hi. You want to flip around and I can brush this side? Here, flip around. Yeah, like that. Okay, let me brush this side. We didn't brush this side. Alright. Oops, sorry. Maybe use this brush. I can't. This is a very bad angle. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down so I can do this. We're going to bed now. Come here, Mac. Come here, bud. Come on. I have been wanting to do this for days. He wouldn't let me um, put the wipes on him. I mean, I did it a little bit, but I was chasing him around the room. So, it's okay. He can be a little bit dirty. He does smell a little bit like green tea, but we did a good grooming. He got a good brush, and I got his eye crusties out. I do need to clean his ears. Uh, I hope he doesn't have like ear mites, but his ears are super dirty, so I'll have to clean those tomorrow with some q-tips or something But until then we get to snuggle I'm so excited Are you excited? Yeah, you are. Yeah, lie down relax Relax my dude Okay, we're gonna go to bed now. Thank you guys for everything for everybody like so, oh, my eyelids. My eyelids are all poofy and puffy because I have been crying so much in the past two days. Like, I haven't had so many, like, crying headaches in a really long time. But, um, look at my eyelid. It looks creepy. It's crazy. Anyways, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for all of your support, especially while he's been gone. I should have known he was going to come back. It's just, it's really unlike him. He's not used to going outside in this house. Like, he just hasn't really been interested in the past year and a half. Up until, like, the past month, maybe. Um, but, yeah, he's, I don't know. It's just, ever since the one time he got lost, like, he's not outside. He doesn't go out very much. He's kind of an indoor cat. He's kind of an introvert, I'd like to say. But... He went on his little adventure, and I'm really excited because now we get to, well, hopefully we get to celebrate his birthday in March. March 21st. Mark your calendars. Mac is turning 14. I'm scratching his ear, and he likes that. Okay, we're going to hang out and then go to bed. Thank you, guys. We'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. I don't know. This vlog's going to be so long because it's only, what, Tuesday right now. Oh, my battery's running out. Time to go. Okay, good night. Bye. Say bye, bud. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god, I'm holding his little paw in my hand. That's his paw. That's his little paw. Oh, I love him so much. Okay, bye guys. Good morning, everyone. We just wanted to say good morning. Good morning. This is not how we slept all night. Just, just this morning. Mac likes to cuddle on top of me. Uh, oh, I still didn't change my battery. Lilo's here too. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Ow. Uh, okay. First of all, I did a terrible job of vlogging the rest of the week. My bad. I'm sorry. I also have been trying to post videos every day and that's not working out either. But I gave myself a pass this week because the whole Mac thing really, really just, it was really intense for me and I feel like I'm still recovering. But almost. And here he is. Here's the man of the hour. Oh, his ears were burning. Um, I <clears throat> should have filmed earlier, but today's... Saturday, which is the end of the week for my calendar, and today I worked, and then I, I rushed home so I could see the football game, the Niners won, it was great, and then I watched the second game of the day, which was the Ravens versus the Titans, dude, the Titans, I don't know, they might be a powerhouse, I can't believe they beat the Ravens, the Ravens completely shut down, and here's the thing, I really like Lamar Jackson, I think he's really cool, but I think that 
Well, there's a lot of things. He didn't really play the last week of season. They had a bye, right? I think they had a bye, yeah. And so, and then I don't, I mean, has he played in playoff games before? I don't think he has. And I feel like the pressure got to him, especially when the game was at the end. Like, they were down by 16, which I know seems like a lot. But <clears throat> when you're playing somebody like, let's say, uh, Tom Brady, you're just like, oh, you give the guy 15, okay, maybe not 15, give the guy 30 seconds and he can score. So I didn't actually feel like the game was over, but man, Lamar Jackson fell apart at the end. And you could even see it in his face, like he had given up. And so, like he was trying really hard, but then he was just, he was just chucking the ball, he was throwing interceptions, it was just kind of crazy. So that was kind of crazy, but I'm not against it. I don't really care, honestly, what happens to the rest of the team. I just want the Niners to make it through. So I did that, and then <clears throat> because of my calendar thing, one of my weekly goals, I haven't been doing as good this week. Let me show you guys. I told you guys I would keep you, I would use you guys to keep me accountable. So although it doesn't really work since I show you guys, like my new water bottle, I, I'm using it, since I show you guys at the end of the week, but <clears throat> this week was really hard for me. Um, I struggled greatly. I don't know what happened here. I'm not really quite sure what was going on around here, but... Um, yeah, so I've been doing a decent job. I'll be honest, There's there was a couple nights, uh, this is tonight, so I haven't finished yet, but there's a couple nights where I don't know what happened, but I did not brush my teeth. Um, I've been trying to floss. I haven't been doing a good job of working out. I haven't been doing a good job of walking Lilo. I haven't been doing a good job of posting videos. I have been doing a good job of eating my vegetables. I haven't cooked twice a week. I didn't cook twice a week, so I'm hoping to cook tomorrow, though, because I have some HelloFresh meals. Um, I've been doing okay. I realize that the eating breakfast every day, I feel like if I eat breakfast at least on work days, that was actually really helpful and I did feel like it helped kind of keep me energized. I've been doing a really good job of not eating after 10. I'm very like aware of that even though I would totally love to eat even right now, which I don't even know what time it is right now, but I would love to eat, but I'm not going to. Drink homemade tea. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I did the the homemade tea for four days, and then I got Starbucks, Starbucks, and a Tajava. So, <laughs> my bad. Um, I have been doing a decent job of drinking water. This was the day that Mac, I don't know, Sunday, Monday, this is the day that we found Mac, so it was just a blur that these whole days, the, all these days were a blur. And then I've been doing a good job of, of trying to show appreciation uh, to people, so... Anyways, as for the weekly one, I didn't I didn't break down boxes. I'm going to break down boxes tonight, though, so I can check that off. I did go running today. Look at me. Let's see. Go running for 10 minutes. Yes. Um, I will get to check this off tomorrow once I post this vlog, this current vlog. And then I did do a an appreciation card to one of my coworkers. And I did laundry last Sunday, so got to clean that or check that off. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing okay. It doesn't look like I'm doing okay. I clearly need to work on this right here. But anyways, after our run, um, which I was dying, I, I am not gonna lie, I lasted nine minutes and 37 seconds, but whatever, it's close enough to 10. Um, I hate running, you guys. I don't, look, I'm still flushed from the running because I hate running. I don't like, I like, um, sprinting. I don't like long distance running. It's the bane of my existence. I, was like dying and luckily Soren ran with me so I feel like he was trying to push me and then at one point I was like I'm going home <laughs> um so yeah that was good and bad I'm sure I'll like it more tomorrow my quads are already um sore I can feel them so uh yeah I'm going to so here's the thing I actually filmed a couple videos this week I filmed my unboxing of my 18 inch Batman and I did the smuggler's bounty box I think I'm gonna try to um, edit quickly the smuggler's bounty box and see if I can post it because then I can at least check off that I posted a video today Which would be nice and then I actually got I have a bunch of I mean obviously I have a bunch of boxes But I have I think I might I might do an unboxing tonight. I got The seven bucks a pop. I've never ordered from them, but they had a New Year's box and I think I got like five of them um, There's supposed to be some pretty good pools from there, but I it was out of like like 1500 boxes so I can't imagine that I didn't get anything good but I thought it'd be fun to do an unboxing video for that of course so uh yeah so we have some things to do so I'm gonna do them but what I'm gonna do is end the vlog here so that I know that it's ended and I can post this tomorrow so thank you guys for joining me this week this week was one of the 
most emotionally challenging weeks of my life. I have never, I did not realize, one of the things that all of this has shown me is like how much I love Mac and how much I need to, like every day I've been, before I leave, I look him in the eyes and I tell him I love him and I kiss him on the head and I hug him and then, you know, I just, it's crazy because Monday and Tuesday, Sunday night, Monday and Tuesday all day, were some of the, I won't say the, I won't necessarily say the hardest days of my life, but oh my gosh, I could not keep it together. So I need to figure that out because that was bad. I just, I didn't even realize, um, and you guys saw it on the vlog. I don't even want to post that, but I will because that's so real life. And I think it's just a good reminder for everyone to make sure you appreciate what you have. Don't take it for granted. I definitely took it for granted. I took having Mac here every single night. Like he literally sleeps with me every single night, you know, and he has basically, he's literally done that for the past, uh, almost 14 years. Like no joke. He used to sleep up on my bunk bed with me. Like he loved it up on the bunk bed when we had bunk beds. It's just, he has been with me for almost 14 years in my bed every single night. Isn't that crazy? That's my long, that's one of my longest relationships. Like I have friendships, so like that's a legit relationship right there. I'm pretty stoked about that. Anyways, um, thank you for joining me this week. Thank you guys for all of your support. Oh my gosh, when Mac was lost, that was crazy, but you guys were so supportive when we found Mac. You guys were so supportive. I'm just so thankful um, to have just my friends and my family and all of you guys in my life because I don't even know, like that was crazy. So thank you guys so much, literally from, all of my heart, not just the bottom, all of it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys had a great week and I will see you guys again next week. See you guys later, bye.